Hi, my name is Nikki Good. I'm an administrative executive with TextHelp. I've been employed with TextHelp since April 2020, but I have been a user of Read and Write for six years. Read and Write was recommended to me during an access to work assessment. Um, in 2014, I suffered two brain hemorrhages that left me with an acquired brain injury. Um, and as a result, I needed to have an access to work assessment to help re me return to the workplace. Okay, basically what happened was in 2014, I suffered two brain hemorrhages. Um, prior to the brain hemorrhages, I had been experiencing some headaches, but I put them down to my life being extremely busy at the time. I was studying for a master's, I was working full time, and I was preparing to get married five months later. So I just put it down to normal day-to-day -day life stresses. Um, however, one day I woke up feeling extremely unwell. I was suffering the worst headache of my life, which I now understand is called a thunderclap headache. Um, I got up to get ready for work and while showering for work, I collapsed. Um, lucky enough, my husband heard the crash and came to my rescue. The next thing I remember is being sort of attended to by paramedics who were treating me for a bang to the head. I was obviously able to tell them that I hadn't suffered a bang to the head and was able to tell them sort of the symptoms I had been experiencing. I was diagnosed with a bleeding the brain. I was taken to a hospital where I underwent brain surgery. And um, for the first bleed, sadly, um, as would be expected, I suffered a second bleed during the surgery to repair the first one. Um, I was then left in a medically induced coma for a week. I remember feeling like very relieved. I was obviously in a lot of pain and very disorientated, um, but I was very relieved to be able to wake up and see my family there at the time. Um, they were obviously very um, relieved to see that I was awake. Um, they were told to expect that I may have a number of difficulties. They weren't sure if I'd be able to speak or that I would even recognize who my family were. Um, however, I actually woke up and my first words were to insult my now husband. So they knew that I was back on form. Okay, so once I woke up from the coma, I spent a period of time in the sort of main hospital in the ICU ward and then the high dependency unit. And um, so I was there probably for approximately a month. And um, from that, I then went to a rehab hospital um, where I underwent extensive rehabilitation. I had to learn to walk again. I was completely paralyzed down my left side. My brain hemorrhages were a form of stroke. So I was literally like unable to hold anything in my left hand, I wasn't able to walk. And um, so I had to undergo extensive therapy to learn how to do those things again. Um, I had to undergo sort of brain injury training to really understand what my brain injury was, was what it caused it and what my life would look at like for the next few months. So I basically I spent, um, the hemorrhage happened in March and I was moved out of the main hospital. It would have been sort of April, May time. And then I was in rehab basically until July, just before my wedding. My wedding was obviously one of the greatest motivations to get back to being myself again. However, I felt very strongly that I wanted to return to the workplace. Um, so that was a great motivator. I wanted to get back to be with my work colleagues. I wanted to go back into the workplace to make a contribution. Um, it was a, That was a real push for me. So much so that actually when I was in hospital, I was asking members of my family to contact my work and get them to bring work in for me that I could work on, which was obviously completely at that point in my t time uh, for recovery, completely unrealistic. Everything, everything had changed for me and I don't think probably at the time I realised just so much had changed for me. Um, I suffered um, a number of, you know, classic brain injury symptoms. I was suffering from cognitive overload. I would find it difficult to process a lot of information at one time. I also suffered from neuro fatigue. So if I was given a lot of information at any one time, I would have difficulty processing it. I also still had residual weakness in my left side of my arm and my leg so it was difficult for me to type and also even the process of getting to and from work i was actually unable to tell the time as well whenever i returned back to work
The access to work assessment, I really can't recommend it enough how easy it was and straightforward it was for me. I actually was recommended it by DWP and my HR manager. Um, myself and my HR manager were able to work together um, in order to complete the form. Um, I then had an assessor come out, an access to work assessor come out and meet with me. They talked to me about my job, the difficulties I had as a result of my acquired brain injury and how that would impact me in the day-to-day -day work that I was doing. Um, they, from that, they were able to then make a number of recommendations for equipment um, that I would need in order to support me back in the workplace. Um, whenever I went back to work, it was there, it was all ready for me. It was so simple and straightforward. I couldn't recommend it enough. Oh, read and write. I'd be to honestly, I'd be totally lost without read and write. Um, obviously, it got recommended to me six years ago, but I still use it now because I still need that um, support in my day to day work. Um, it obviously has a lot of useful features. The ones in particular that stand out for me are screen masking. Um, I would suffer from cognitive overload and light sensitivity. So, by being able to mask my screen, change the color, or reduce the brightness of my screen, it's a really, really valuable support to me in the workplace. The play function, being able to have text read, a lot, read aloud is just something I would be lost without. Um, just to be able to sort of listen to lots of paperwork is great because for me to read it would be very, very difficult. Um, also, the highlighter function, I love highlighters. Um, for example, if I was given a report that I needed to read and had to make comments on it, um, I can assign highlighted colours to each person that I might want to make comments to and then I can collect them all together at the end. It would be too much for me basically to go through the report and try to remember who and what I was commenting on and for. So to be able to sort of highlight and collect that all together and then read it back is invaluable. Um, the word um, and prediction tools are great. Believe it or not, I do actually struggle with my words at times, which may not be apparent in this video. But when I'm writing, I do struggle to get words right. So to be able to have word prediction and the check of function to go back and check and make sure I'm actually saying the right things is invaluable. Without a doubt, um, read and write is the reason that I'm back to work. I was actually told that people with my type of brain injury did not return to the workplace, but I knew with the right assistive technology in place that I could go back to work. So. Without Read and Write, I wouldn't actually be back to work. But also, Read and Write is the reason I actually work at TechSelp. I was so impressed by the software and that there was a company out there who was willing to help and provide software for people like me that I actually spent time seeking out opportunities to work here. So I actually wouldn't be here and doing this job if it wasn't for Read and Write. Working at TechSelp has been fantastic. For me, it's been an absolute game changer. Um, it, it has actually changed my life and um, my work colleagues are so supportive they've really taken on board the difficulties that i have on a day-to-day -day workplace um, and day-to-day -day life and um, for example whenever i started working they really took on board the adjustments that i would need so for example i would suffer quite badly with memory problems and if you taught me to do something my brain might remember it in a different way that you actually taught me so they actually recorded videos. So for my key tasks, my key areas of work, they recorded videos showing me how to do them. So it means that if any time I get stuck, I can just go back and watch those videos. And that has just been sort of life changing. It just means that I can actually be independent, that I can actually have an input into the workplace. And I don't need to keep continuing to go back and ask people, how do you do that again? You know, so it's just it's just been fantastic. It's something so simple and it's just absolutely been a game changer for me.